These Canva tips have been an absolute game changer for me lately. Hi, my name is Zachary. I'm a junior designer and social media manager here at Adoram. And today I'm gonna to share Canva tips that are really gonna accelerate your workflow. Let's get into it. This first tip is game changing because I didn't even know it existed until yesterday. It's called Quick Find and it's incredible if you're bad at finding stuff like me or if you just wanna work a lot faster in Canva. So hit forward slash and it's gonna bring up some recommendations. But for this example, let's pretend we wanna use the background remover. So let's type in background, select it. And wow, look how fast that was. Here's a great hack if you have low quality images and no other ways to fix them. Go to edit, scroll down, and it's a separate app called Image Upscaler, but it's very helpful. So you can do two times, four times, eight times. We're gonna do 16. And yeah, let's see how good of a job it does. Wow, look at this. That turned out incredible. For some reason, making an outline of something in Canva is just really hard to find. Here's how you can do it. Start by clicking the object you want an icon for, in this case, me. Go to Object. We're going to go to Shadows. And this is why it's so hard to find, is it's not named clearly. Go to Shadows, Outline, and you can change the size and the color. There we go. So a week ago, I asked our Discord community, what's one Canva feature that you wish you knew about sooner? And Duotones came up quite a bit. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's how Spotify achieves their really cool looking stylized images like this. So here we have our statue, which we're gonna do the Duotone effect for. And we actually did this this year for our WordCamp Europe backdrop, which you can see right here. That looks pretty neat. So we're gonna remove the background and let's get rid of this. Okay, there we go. Go to edit, duo tones, and you can pick one of these. We're gonna do this one. So you can change the highlights and the shadow with a custom hex code, and you can also decrease the intensity and increase it. And that's how you do it. Not a whole lot of people like to think of accessibility, but here's how Canva makes checking it really easy. We want to make sure our designs are accessible to our users and our clients. Here's how Canva makes checking that extremely simple. Go to File, and we're going to scroll down to Accessibility, Check Design Accessibility, and what it's going to do is it's going to check the entire document, which is cool. So you can see the typography passes, and then it found a few contrast issues, like, let's see if we can find one. Like here, yeah, this doesn't contrast well against that yellow. So this is very good for checking contrast and just making sure people can read and see what you're putting out there. So if you're in Canva and you see the words magic, you know it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. So the background generator is amazing. So click it, remember sunglasses. We're gonna say sunglasses lying on grass. I don't know, I can't think of anything for this example. Let's generate and see what it comes up with. That looks kind of cool. I also like the magic eraser because it's great for cleaning up images without firing up Photoshop. So we have our image and let's just say that I wanna get rid of one of these fireballs here. So we can just say, let's get rid of this one and hit erase. This next magic feature is so incredibly game changing when I'm trying to do these YouTube thumbnails. So say you have an image and it doesn't quite stretch all the way. Here's what you can do. Let's go to edit. Let's do, where is it? Magic expand. Let's do this, yep. Let's drag it and expand it. And it's gonna give you four options and you can just pick the best one. Or if you don't like what it gives you, you can have it run again. This next tip is incredible if you have multilingual clients. So go to apps, translate, and then you can translate to any language and it uses AI. You can change the tone of voice. You can just do the one page or multiple pages. So let's do it here. We're gonna have it be friendly and let's have it just do the current page. 
And there we are, look at that. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Canva hack is. I spend so much time in there because that's where our social media templates are and I would love to know what's helping you. So if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this other one where I walk you through Figma tips that have been saving me so much time lately. My name is Zachary Mims and I'll catch you in the next one.